Hi, I'm Karis Evans, a postdoctoral researcher in the ARM lab at UCL in London. In this video, I want to introduce you to RECAPS, a research study currently taking place at UCL. The RECAP study is being conducted to find ways to improve recovery after stroke. It is also a study you may want to be a part of. So what is the RECAP study? RECAPS explores how brain activity changes after someone has had a stroke that has affected movement in their arm or hand. RECAPS also looks at whether non-invasive brain stimulation can be used to alter brain activity after a stroke. So what do we mean by brain activity? Brain activity refers to the communication of brain cells via electrical impulses. After a stroke, this brain activity can change. Brain cells can become more or less active. We refer to this as the excitability of the brain. Scientists believe that increased excitability may promote a good environment for recovery and reorganization to take place, a process called neuroplasticity. In the first weeks after stroke, the brain is often more active than normal, which is also when we tend to see the most recovery. Over time, activity returns to normal levels and recovery often slows down. In the recap study, we are comparing brain activity in people who had a stroke very recently to people whose stroke occurred further in the past. We also want to see whether brain stimulation can be used to mimic or even prolong excitability levels believed to help recovery. So how do you measure brain activity? In the RECAP study, we record brain activity by measuring the signals traveling between the brain and the hand. This is done using a technique called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. The strength of the signal traveling from the brain to the hand is measured by the size of a muscle twitch and is a good indicator of brain activity levels. So how can we alter brain activity? Brain activity can be temporarily altered using the non-invasive brain stimulation technique, transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS. During TDCS, two small electrodes are placed on the head and a weak current flows between them. This current causes changes in the signal between the brain and the hand. These changes cannot be detected by the person receiving TDCS, but can be seen as slight changes in the size of the muscle twitch in your hand. So if you want to find out more about how brain stimulation works, you can also watch one of our other videos about non-invasive brain stimulation. So why is the recap study important? Research shows that TDCS can increase brain activity for a prolonged amount of time, suggesting it may be a useful tool to promote recovery. However, it is still unclear whether it is best to apply TDCS to patients early or late after their stroke. In the RECAP study, we may see one of two results. If we see greater change in the muscle twitch in people who had a stroke recently, this would suggest brain stimulation is more effective when applied early after a stroke. If we see a greater change in the muscle twitch in people who had a stroke further in the past, this would, however, suggest brain stimulation is more effective when applied later after a stroke. Whilst RECAPS is not a treatment study, our results will determine when it is best to apply TDCS to get the best results. We hope that one day, alternative techniques like brain stimulation may help maximize recovery after stroke. If you'd like to know more about the RECAP study, you can find some information by visiting the links on screen or by sending us an email. Thank you for watching.